Hello everyone. This is a Hesse A Square Mathematics Review Correction video. In the video, I had a problem that looks like this. And what I did wrong was I, instead of writing um, a seven here, I put a one instead. And that's why the problem ended up being wrong to you all. The, truthfully, the problem is supposed to be, it's supposed to be seven, seven over eight. And if you were to plug in seven in the numerator, you'll get one, three over eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and rework this problem as it is and correct any mistakes that was in the video. And by the way, any mistakes in the video, go ahead and feel free, comment down below and let me know. I'll let everybody else know by updating the video. Always, always, always check the description box for mistakes. I am only human. Okay, so let's go ahead and work this problem. So we have six one um, half minus seven one eight. So I forgot to tell y'all that the four feet they canceled out because four minus four is zero. So that's why we totally just disregarded that. So I went ahead and worked this problem. We got six one two over seven one eight. And we're gonna get rid of this mixed fraction. So six times two is 12. 12 plus one is 13. That's gonna give us 13 over two minus Seven times eight is 56. 56 plus one is 57. And over eight. Are we done yet? No, we're not done because our denominators are not the same. So what we're gonna do is multiply this fraction here by four. All right, four times 13. I don't know off the top of my head. All right, we got 52, 52 over eight minus 57 over eight. So two minus four, I mean, two minus seven is going to give us five, negative five over eight. So that would be the final and correct answer for this problem. Negative five over eight. Now, if you want to do this same exact problem, but plug in the seven here, Let's solve this. Now, you have to pay attention to what the question is asking you and what form they want the question in, okay? So technically, there's two answers to this, and I'll show you guys both ways how you can end up with two answers. So um, we have 6, 1 half minus 7, 7 over 8. Now, we're going to just get rid of this mixed fraction. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 over 2 minus 7, 7 over 8, 7 minus... Or seven times eight is going to give us 56. 56 plus seven, uh, 63 over eight. And can we solve this problem? No, we cannot because our denominators, the denominators are not the same. So uh, let's go ahead and change our denominators for this particular problem right here. And we multiply that by four to get the eight into the denominator section. That's going to give us, I just did this problem and I can't remember what, what it was. So it's going to give us 52. So we're going to end up with 52 over 8 minus 63 over 8. Now we can subtract this. So 52 from 63 is going to give us a negative 11. So this is... Okay, so another way you can solve this problem is, I have that there. Go ahead and do this. And that way our denominators will be the same and now we can subtract it, right? Um, minus seven over seven, eight. Now we'll end up with one, a negative one because six minus one, six minus seven is going to give us a negative number. Four minus seven is also going to give us a negative number. It's going to give us three over eight. So you may end up with negative one, three, eight, or 11, a negative 11 over eight. It depends on what the question is asking you and what, what are your options. Okay, another error that was made in this video was that I did not write the correct answer 
for us converting kilograms to pounds. And for us to do that, all we have to do is multiply by 2.2. So 227 times 2.2 is going to give us uh, 59.4 uh, pounds, okay? Uh, one other thing I want to point out is that the LCD for 9 and 4 is going to be 36 because those are two factors anyway. So yeah, any mistakes, once again, will be in the description box. Check that. And if you have noticed any mistakes, please be sure to comment down below and I'll make the updated version.